I am starting the rebuild process for my 13B for the Party FC today. Today is the day we are stacking the 13B for the party FC. We've been working on getting that rotor that was messed up in the last video for all the seals to fit. And it wasn't actually really the slots that were that bad. It was the corner seals. We've all been filing corner seals for the past like three hours. But finally the corner seals, they were too tight and they're all filed out now. So. The messed up rotor now is great. Good job, everyone's been filing for hours. Right. <laughs> Why am I holding this file? <laughs> <laughs> because we've been holding files for hours and now it's just a part of you. Yeah, it is. Like, I'm just, I can't let go of it. Like, you it's... are one with the file. You said that's not normal, but it happens every now and then. Yeah. Where the corner seals are just like not machined right or just a little off. Every Apex seal company are slightly different sized. Okay. So anytime you jump around brands, you have to clearance everything. for the rotor drop. The rotor drop. It's too much pressure. You gotta hold the entire yeah, thing. Without touch, like, pulling the seal out. Yeah. My hands won't even go over, like, half of that. I, I kind of just grab, like, this here. This here. And anyway, wait, so this is the front? Yeah. Okay. So you always want to drop it at 12 and 6 o'clock. So 12. Uh, and then you're putting in the springs yes. after so, it's already laid in. Yes. Okay. So I want to do one and you do it. Okay. I'll do this. One. So what I do is I put it in here and I flip it up real quick. And you see how there's a lip right here? Yeah. Oh, you, that's where. I was wondering what that was for. Yeah. So it's gonna land right on there. Mm -hmm. Once you're on there, when you push this, it'll push it over. The top. And then you put on the top part. Yeah. This lip right here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna line up to the spring. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yay! Yeah. Detail did the first one, so now I'm scared to try it. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. Oh.
you want to click it into place to make sure it's right? I don't trust myself fully. Oh, there it goes. That's the clip sound? Yeah. Okay. Like this is supposed to be facing forward? Yes, correct. Can you explain why RX-8 rotating assembly is better? Kind of oh, a yeah. mixture of different things for this block. It's Turbo 2, but it has NA rotors and RX-8 shafts. Uh, the reason why we're using an RX-8 shaft is because it's two pounds lighter. So this will give her a quick like whiplash type of rev effect. Two pounds lighter is crazy. Yes, so like in a rotating like type of sense, it actually helps rev it up a lot faster. Kind of like a lightweight flywheel. And it just fits like the normal one for Straight Turbo drop 2. Straight yeah. Easy mod to do. So. With the uh, NA rotors. NA rotors, high compression, so you can make a lot more torque for drifting. You just want that usable power band. And that's your quick facts with DK oh, at Garage Life. Like right here. <laughs> And just for the record, I'm preparing this one ahead of time so that it is ready to go once it is already stacked. So you're gonna watch these parts because they're gonna pop up. Okay. And I'm gonna stack the, the iron. Okay. your strategy DK? Oh no, you just do it. <laughs> There's no wow. Say no, a Nike ad? If the first rotor is 12 o'clock facing up, then the second rotor is going to be 180 degrees. So you're going to 0.6. You kind of just hold the gear, make sure nothing is sticking out. Double check everything's good. And you have everything greased up, so ideally it's kind of being held in. Yeah, so it won't fall out. I just kind of slowly work your way in. There it is. Dang. Good. Now the apex seal springs.
last one. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're oh, there. Water seals, O ring. Yep, that's one there. Nothing's twisted over there. Working out for months for this moment. <laughs> it's all for this. <laughs> Just for this part. It's all for this moment. Hey, hold up. What's your words of wisdom just, and strategy uh, and advice for just this? Eye the hole through. Like, kind of just look at the hole and line it through. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, it? Yep. Yay! Yay! This has been very nicely laid out for me by Gilbert. I just need to fill in the dots. <laughs> All right, that's pretty satisfying. Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, another Garage Life Pro Tip FD tension bolts. Yes. And they fit, right? They yep. fit drop stock right in. turbo two, drop in, and from an FD, they're just stronger. It's just like a whole mixture of a block. All the best parts. Seven oversized studs. Yeah, it's like over two. Dang, that's good luck too, seven though. For Ooh. Yeah, as I'll say, seven oh, for, yeah. for R7. Cover. Another trick from Garage Life. Oversized studs. If you want to make Mo Power, oversized stud. Oh, and you guys have a kit, right? Yes. You can get these custom from Garage Life for 13B and 20B because we're making custom ones. On my 20B. Faster, strong. Low power, more better. <laughs> Oversized stud, your stuff. Oh, hey. Oh, yes, oh, they good. all went in. Theater. Straight. There's a lot of the kits, too, that you can buy, they're not all straight. So, you need to make sure you're doing a kit from someone that knows what they're doing. AKA Garage Life. Copy your 13B and 20B uh, oversized stuff right here. <laughs> Yay! Okay, that's too pretty. Like, what? what Stacked! I know, look at the light. You didn't see the flakes so good. Big oof. Ooh! So pretty!